Hey athletes, what's going on? Brian Showman here, physical therapist and performance coach. Get your fixed physical therapy, get your fixed nutrition, CrossFit coach and running technique specialist. And I work with you athletes to get you more resilient to stay training and racing longer. So I wanted to talk to you guys today about is your fuel tank full or empty? Essentially, what are, hey Leon, what are you running on when you are training, when you are racing? Because here's the deal. Our bodies have natural caloric requirements. And if we don't meet those requirements, we aren't going to perform well. Um, hey Jared, essentially, I'd like to view what we put in our body as from food as our fuel. So just like your vehicle, if you don't give it the fuel it needs to run, it's going to stop running. Our bodies are the same way. If we don't give it the fuel we need, hey David, hey Jerry, if we don't give it the fuel we need, it's going to stop running or essentially it's not going to run as well. So what does this mean when it comes to us as humans? It can mean a number of things. On the superficial, very superficial, very noticeable level, it is you're fatigued. It is your training is not going well. You fatigue out a lot faster than your peers when you are training. You fatigue a lot faster when you are actually racing. Um, maybe you just don't, you aren't recovering well because you just don't have the energy to recover. There's a lot of performance aspects that come into play when we're talking about fuel and how much we are actually taking in. Now, that's the actual performance side of things. Just not having the strength, not having the energy, not performing well. Then we also have to look at how are we, how is our body actually feeling? Meaning, are we injured? Are we having pain? Are we constantly breaking down? Because here's the thing, we, the other reason we need this fuel is to recover our bodies, is to replenish our bodies. So a lot of times when I'm looking at, especially when I'm, hey Marcus, hey Benz, especially when I'm looking at um, seeing injuries in collegiate and high school females and then especially in females in general because this is where it tends to happen more when we are not feeling ourselves enough we're getting stress fractures um, a lot of times when I'm starting to look at these people and I will say I'm probably I had a number of stress fractures growing up and I'm thinking this is part of the reason is we're not feeling ourselves enough and so our bone it, like our body will pull our calcium from our bones, pull things from our bones in order to fuel us. Um, our muscles won't repair as well because we don't have what we need or our body will take what's in them in order to actually be able to function. So if we're not fueling ourselves, it puts us one at risk of increased injury or increased risk of injury, but it also puts us at um, slower or gives us a slower recovery, which once again, therefore puts us at increased risk of injury. So. To make two huge, huge reasons when we're talking about us as athletes um, needing to make sure we get enough fuel in. One does come from the actual performance side, how we actually feel, how we actually are doing with our training, how we're progressing with our training and our racing, but also we have to look at it from the injury side. Is being under fuel contributing to some of these chronic injuries, some of these constant injuries, some of these major injuries that we're, that we're experiencing? So. I want to throw that out there for you guys. I would love to know your thoughts on this. Any thoughts, questions, comments, um, definitely post them on here. If you have any specific questions about your specific issues, feel free to reach out to me on Facebook Messenger. I'd love to have a conversation with you and see how we can work together in order to really get to you dominating your performance. So have a great rest of your day. Hope you had an awesome weekend, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.